They're one win away from their first ever NBA title. All of Canada knows how Masai Ujiri spent his spring. Hello, Lowry Siakam. The maestro of a huge moment, the Toronto Raptors' historic NBA win. Canada, the NBA title is yours. A first for Canada, and were Canadians ever into it? Ujiri had reason to smile. He deserves much of the credit for that win. From pulling off that risky trade for Kawhi Leonard. Believe in the city, believe in yourselves. To building a roster that turned out to be greater than the sum of its parts. But there were complications. Allegations from the US that Ujiri pushed an Oakland officer the night the Raptors won it all. The panic, then the despair of fans who could not woo Kawhi to stay. Thank all of uh, Toronto, the city, the country. Welcome. But as all that swirled, Masai Ujiri found time for his treasured program, The Giants of Africa. Basketball camps for young, hopeful players across the continent. Camps about so much more than basketball. This year, he took them to Cameroon, Mali, Morocco, South Sudan, and Somalia. He even took the NBA trophy back home to Nigeria with the hopes of inspiring a nation. How are you? All right, yeah. Good morning. Okay? Morning, morning, morning. <laughs> morning. You doing okay? Yeah, I am. Good shirt. <laughs> yeah. We caught up with Masai Ujiri at one of the camps in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Fresh off the heels of this amazing win you had. I think there are a whole bunch of Canadians who might imagine, I bet Masai Ujiri this summer has got his feet up by a lake somewhere, kind of basking in the glory of this year. And yet, you know, we're sitting here in Tanzania, you've been crisscrossing this continent. Why? Uh, why? Because I, I think uh, the youth need, need this. Yeah, and what better time to come off a championship to send messages. Yeah, send messages to uh, the change that you want on the continent, the change that you want to instill in this youth, uh, so, so that it registers in them. The only way for this continent to be great is you guys, okay? Always remember that. The majority of Africa is you. This is my happy hour, this is my golf, this is my um, whatever other people do. Yeah, this is this is what it is for me. And you get to hear that sound. And you get to hear that sound. Those kids are laughing, those balls are going. It's an incredible like time. Where does the funding come from? Um I I've basically like negotiated my salary where part of it goes is for Giants of Africa. If I if I'm making twenty dollars, I say three dollars. I negotiate higher just to get um, the money for this. And it's one of the biggest things that I really appreciate because it built this, it started this. What's your best moment from this tour so far? If I'm to pick one moment on this trip so far, I would say going back to Zaria with the trophy mm. and giving my parents the trophy was incredible for me. For my dad to look at me and tell me that I make, I, I make, him, I make him feel big, <laughs> those things were, were so powerful. That's me personally. Hey, Toronto everywhere, yeah. He grew up in Nigeria. That connection to Africa courses through him. Okay, we have to get this jersey off. Never a player in the NBA, but a scout initially. He still looks for and finds talent. He brought the likes of African-born Pascal Siakam, Serge Ibaka, and coaching staff to the Raptors. To see them be a part of that championship win was extraordinary. Can you take me to that moment when it worked, when you won? I'm wondering what the 12-year-old Masai in you was, was doing in that moment. My first instinct when we won was to go find my wife and I thought about my kids. They were not at the away game, they were in Toronto. Uh, and the second thing that came to me was, 
Africa won, you know, uh, Canada won. You know, like we prove to people that you ain't have to, you don't have to come from a certain place uh, to win. And when they won that night, something odd happened. The Oakland Sheriff's Office says Masai Ujiri shoved a deputy twice as he tried to get past him to the court to celebrate. There may yet be charges. What happened on that court? Uh, you know, I, I, it's still going on and um, I, I know who I am as a person and I respect authority and respect uh, obviously the police and I, I, won't, I won't comment on anything, you know, like before. Um, what does that mean, you know who you are? I, I'm only trying to celebrate like winning a championship. That's all I was trying to do and I know the person that I am. You had your credentials? You showed them? Yeah, I think I'll, I'll leave that till it's, <laughs> till it's all said and done. Is that but, your decision or is the NBA said not to talk? Oh, it's my decision. One of the one of the discussions that's been happening around you, n not not with you, because you're you're not talking publicly about it, is that was there an element of racism to what happened there? A big element. Have you felt racism in in your job? Uh, to be honest, no. <laughs> yeah, I I stay focused, you know. And uh, to be honest, my focus is winning. You know, and if somebody comes and is a certain way to me, you know, like I, that's not what comes to my mind mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't even give it a chance. And I think that helps me. Have to ask you too about the Toronto heartbreak. How did Toronto lose Kawhi? How did you lose Kawhi? Uh, if he wants to go home, um, he's gone home. You know, I couldn't tell Toronto if there was a team in Lagos, Nigeria, or in Zaria, Nigeria, there was an NBA team there. I don't know if I would stay in Toronto. You know, like that's, there are some callings in life, you know, like uh, some things that pull people one way or the other. And I completely like under understand that. But it, it must have been more complicated than Kawhi saying, I want to go home and you saying, oh, okay. Yeah, you try. You are going to try and convince the player. You are trying. To, you are trying to keep the player. Um, there's a lot, part, plenty part of him that wanted to stay. And, what, what part of him wanted to stay? Oh, winning the city. You know, like everything um, he won in the city. He had one of the greatest shots in in NBA history now. Simmons, is this the dagger? No! The fans. An unbelievable parade. Look at it, it's crazy. Yeah, those things, I know Kawhi, I know they, you know, they, he, he really thought about all those things, but at the end of the day, he made a decision and his decision was to go back How did you home. find out about it? Where, where were you, how did you hear? I think I was in Rwanda. I was in Rwanda and I, I spoke to them on the phone. I spoke to him and I spoke to his uncle. How did you break it to Drake? <laughs> no, I think I th the Kawhi has a has a relationship with Drake, so I'm, I'm sure he told, he told him himself. Yeah, I'm sure he told him himself. Who was the hardest conversation, sort of letting people know about Kawhi? Who was the hardest person to tell? Honestly, it's not that difficult for me. You know, some people call me a stone heart, or you know, like that's the business that we've put ourselves to do. Uh, if you I didn't cry a little bit. Oh uh, no, <laughs> no, no, no way. Not even close. I, I, there's no way I can cry because of because a player left. You go find the next player. <laughs> yeah, I'll cry here. When you look at those kids in their eyes, you know, like I see myself and I see the opportunity that God has given me, the NBA has given me. And um, in your dreams, you know, they are wild dreams, but in your dreams, you wish that every, all of them can have that opportunity, at least have the opportunity to try. He wants the kids to dream of getting good enough at basketball to secure scholarships and good educations and good jobs. But wants a scout, always a scout. And just maybe the next star is waiting for the Raptors only, of course. At the end of the day, we play sports to win.
We can hold hands all we want and do Giants of Africa all we want. Sports is done to win. Yeah, and I want to win. And whoever I'm bringing uh, to the Toronto Raptors, it's, it's to win. So the, the presidents of the other teams must look at you and think, hmm, this guy, this guy has a magic formula. Are they a little bit jealous of you? Are they? No, no, no. There's never any that kind of talk. You know? Nobody gives you the gears about coming over here? And sometimes, you know, like sometimes it's seen as, a, as an advantage. Or sometimes it's like, oh, okay, he's, he has access to all of this stuff. But I think they you know. You have a pipeline. Yeah, there's a, there's, with Giants of Africa, obviously, I've seen many kids, but I think they know why I do it. Your future. I mean, so many people were convinced that, that your friend Barack Obama would really work hard to try to get you to go to the Washington Wizards. Mm -hmm. How hard did he try? Uh, we talked about it. What's going on, baby? But no, our friendship is not that way. Um, he's been an incredible mentor to me. And his friendship is not to convince me. <laughs> yeah, his friendship is to give me all the best information to be the best leader where I am. And it's incredible the advice and the kind of advice he gives. He's, he's a remarkable person and I, I really appreciate that. But no, um, I talk to him far more beyond, you know, like those things. Barack Obama! It was great to see him at the Raptors game. Was that a big deal for you? A huge deal. Yeah, it's a huge deal, I say this, uh, to have him there. Um, I'll be proud of that, you know, for the rest of my life. It's something that I'll never, ever forget. And you, people really did wonder if, if you'd done everything you wanted to accomplish in Toronto, if, if you were tempted to move on. Were you? Uh, I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't. Um, if there came a time, you know, I think people would understand, you know, like why. But um, I know uh, this is where my kids were born, you know. This has become part of me, you know. Canada has become part of me, and I love that. Championship number two? Hey, we're going to get it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know when it will be, but we're going to get it. Just like I said, we'll get the first one. And I said I didn't know when we'll, I will get it, but we will. I guarantee you we will, you know, like I... I I have the ultimate confidence that um, at the time, the time will come. Okay. Thank you very, very much, Masai. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you.